Hello everyone, welcome back to another Starfield video. Creations are mods released yesterday for Xbox and I thought I'd go over some of the better ones available for you to download. Now I'm only covering free mods and I might do one checking out the paid mods so you guys don't have to but let me know in the comments if you want to see that. However in this video we are going over the free mods but the one I show right at the end is paid because I think it is worth the money for you to download it. Okay, so here are some of the best mods for you to check out right now. The video says 10, I've covered 14 as some of them are quite small, so let's take a look. We're going to start with the best possible mod you can add to your game, and that is No More Angry Companions. One of the worst features of the vanilla game is killing people and doing criminal stuff, and your companions hating you for it. Now with this mod, you can wipe out the entire town and kill all the people, and your follower will stick with you through the massacre. To go with this, we've also got improved follower behaviour. So, the follower will now attempt to maintain an average distance of 2 to 5 meters, staying closer while walking and further while running. Followers will also only attack once an enemy has fully detected you. Followers stay very close while sneaking and do not sandbox, making them more reliable in stealth runs. They will also match your walking speed now. Followers will move 50% faster when they are more than 50 meters away from you, helping them to keep up better while exploring. Followers no longer stop to bully local wildlife. Loitering radius decreased from 50 meters to 6, so this reduces sandboxing and lagging behind. Followers no longer attempt to fall into formation around you, and followers stick close to you when in an airlock in a doorway. Overall, your followers now should be vastly improved from these two mods. The Starborn Gravis Suit, a Starborn armor that you can equip to your character with some good stats. The armor looks really good and is legendary as well. If you're looking to get this armor, it is found in your room in the lodge. However, it might require you to restart your game before it shows up. Next, a mod for anyone who is looking to just play in the game without any resource gathering whatsoever. With unlimited resources, ammo, healing, digipix, and credit mod. Perpetual containers provide unlimited amounts of resources. In the basement in the lodge, the unlimited resource box initially holds 10 of each item, organic and inorganic, that you might need for crafting. And how it works is you simply take the resource and it will instantly replenish and you can take it as much as you need. Upstairs, the safe in the player bedroom contains an ever-ending source of credits. First aid boxes everywhere will now replenish instantly with med packs, trauma packs and emergency kits and so on. Finally, the captain locker in your ship, except the Vigilance, provides unlimited credits, digipix and ammo too. Next we have Environmental Seal. Have you ever went on an expedition in your super cool armor set only to simultaneously gain lung damage, internal bleeding and frostbite because the environmental hazard resistance was bad on it? Well, you can enhance those resistances with this mod. The mod adds a new armor called Environmental Seal, which unsurprisingly provides environmental hazard protection. It is grouped under the spacesuit category, but it is itself its own armor, so won't take up any armor slots, and it doesn't attach to an armor piece, it's simply its own thing. So you have to equip it under the apparel section. The environmental seal has a base 15 resistance for all four kinds of hazards. It also comes with three mod categories providing further benefits, four levels of quality, six mods providing plus 20 to two of the resistances of your choice, and five mods providing plus 25 to a specific hazard resistance at the cost of other attributes. Most mods are unlocked by default with the two best quality mods and mobility specializations requiring the spacesuit mod research project skill. Better boxing. This mod simply improves the power of the boxing skill so melee attacks are more of a viable choice in game. Damage is simply improved by one tier, so 25% is now 50, 50 is 75, 75 is 100, and 100% is now 125% damage. So no matter the tier, your boxing power has increased by 25%. Visible Chronomark Watch. This mod makes it possible to see the Chronomark Watch on your left wrist during normal gameplay, utilizing the same model you see in the first mission. It works by equipping a hidden Chronomark LPV6 apparel item on your character automatically, as long as you're not wearing something with long sleeves that would completely cover it up. All vanilla apparel is accounted for, so the watch will properly appear or disappear depending on which outfit you're wearing. The watch will only appear on your character after Barrett hands it to you at the start of the game, or after receiving it from the lodge after starting a new game plus. The watch has also been added to your four main constellation companions and it can be seen on them if you give them outfits that don't cover up their arms. Next we have Smarter Spacesuits. This mod does the following things. 
Hide your spacesuit while inside of sealed starships, including your home ship. Hide your spacesuit while on a safe, breathable planet, for example, anywhere on Jemison outside of New Atlantis. If you step into a sealed area on a world where you need a spacesuit, only your helmet will be hidden and follower spacesuits will be synced to yours. Followers no longer needlessly wear their helmets in breathable environments. Spacesuits without helmets will be worn on breathable worlds which are cold but not cold enough to be hazardous. All NPCs no longer needlessly wear their helmet in breathable environments. Now see Brogon's face on Crete for example, and overall a very simple but immersive mod for you to play through. Vanilla Flashlight Improved, a simple mod that improves the distance and size of the flashlight in-game. The Blackout Drumbeat skin, customise your drumbeat with this new awesome skin available at the workbench. It's pretty much the same as before, but black rather than white, and it just looks nicer. The Observatory. Search for the stars with the new observatory built at any outpost. This mod is added by Bethesda themselves and looks good in any outpost. Unfortunately, it's just for show and you can't actually look through the telescope, which was a bit disappointing. But the observatory itself does look really good. Back at NPCs, drop armor. This mod enables armor drops for most NPCs in the game when they're killed. Some may be using unplayable versions of armor, or may have predefined loot that will give them an extra set of armor in their inventory, but in general it should be a lot easier to find and claim armor that you like to wear, as any armor set an NPC is wearing, you should be able to loot from them. Simple Dynamic Boost Packs Boost Packs capabilities are now enhanced based on movement speed with reduced research required for modification and switching types. So here are some specific boost pack enhancements. Power Boost Pack requires level 1 research, provides higher vertical boost, especially outdoors, maximum boost height achieved when not running or sprinting, and hold the boost button for maximum effect using more fuel. The Skip Boost Pack also requires level 1 research, enhanced horizontal mobility, especially when sprinting, maximum speed and distance achieved outdoors while sprinting, and the balance boost pack requires level 1 research. Combined features of power and skip boost pack, moderate increase in horizontal speed distance when sprinting, moderate increase in vertical height when not running or sprinting, and you can press the secondary jump boost key for forward horizontal boosts, that's only on PC, and it's still to be added to the Xbox version. Lastly then, we have a paid mod called TGS Luxury Homes Volume 1. This mod adds to the game 30 or so luxury player homes for you to build in your settlements. And these are not small homes either, they are big enough that building them all look like you've built an entire town or settlement. You can also build a castle, complete with walls, gates, towers and more. Essentially this mod transforms settlement building forever and it's only volume 1 so I presume future mods are planned for different style buildings and I can't wait to see what they are. You can see here in the video I quickly built some of these and the buildings are pretty big and I didn't place down anything like roads or whatever. You could spend hours doing this and build yourself a really cool town with lots and lots of cool features. But as far as paid mods go, this one I think was definitely worth the money. Alright, those are some of the new mods added into Starfield and Xbox and all are also on PC. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you want to see more mod guides and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.